We're down here on the top lake at Willinghurst today. Um, I'm going to show you a few things to do with pace fishing, which I've been doing lately, and it's proved fairly successful, not only here, but on other waters as well. Um, it's just a little bit of an insight as how I to approach it, what baits I use and how I use them, and what I'm actually looking for in terms of signs. In other words, I'm looking for some sort of uh, indication as how they're feeding on the day, because they do feed differently. So let's go and have a look at, look at the baits I've been using. Okay, right, this is um, just a, an example of how I prepare my bait for you. Basically, it's very simple. I, I, I use these sticky pellets for most of my feed work. Um, it, I find these, I can use these uh, for down the edge and also, funnily enough, in deeper water. Very easy to prepare. You just fill a bowl up with water, plenty of water, because they will soak up loads. I do that as soon as I get to the competition, let me peg, leave them there. They will stay in that the whole match. All I do then is ladle them out once I start fishing into another bowl ready for feeding. So that's those, very, very simple. I've tried lots of different pastes over the years and I've come to the conclusion that this is the best. I haven't found anything else that competes with this. I can use it wet, I can use it stiff, I can add pellets to it if I want to, and, and it stays on the hook, no matter how uh, soft you make it, it will stay on the hook for a good length of time. And if you're in a, a, a peg with a lot of fish and you're getting a lot of indications and, they, and they're knocking it off, then this is the pace to you, without a doubt. It's the one that I prefer out of everything I've ever used before. Sometimes just feeding with sticky pellets is not enough or it might not work on that day. As an alternative, I'll always have some eight and six mil pellets with me, which I can loose feed, and sometimes I find that to be better. But generally, these, and especially for down the edge. All right, this is the Special G Gold Paste that I use. Um, very simple to, uh, to mix. Um, just, uh, what I do is I pour a, a quantity of it into the bowl. Round bowl's easier to, to mix up, to be fair. And then I add water to it, and I'll make it, it's like a porridge really, like porridge, and then just leave it to set. I normally knock it up half hour before I start fishing. I, I tend to knock it up quite stiffish to start with, but then I can alter that very easy by adding water throughout the day. If need be, I can take a piece out and put it in another bowl and make it really wet. And sometimes I add pellets to it as well. But you can, you can alter it. That's the, the, the pleasure of fishing with this place. You can just alter it as and when you want. This is the rig I'm using today, um, not particularly big, uh, the water is very shallow at the moment That's because we've had so much of uh, a drought going on, but uh, I like to fish with shot down the line as you can see, I've got four number nines on this one just to keep it stable and I like it to, uh, to sort of cock the float virtually to the top of the body so that there's l very little resistance pulling on the pace, otherwise the hook will be pulled out of the pace by the buoyancy of the float. So that's my setup, very simple, I've got a size 12 hook on today and I'm fishing 019 main line. I, I've got the pace done that at the moment, fairly soft but not as soft as I can have it, but because it's soft I've got to have to transport it out in a pot, uh, which as you can see I've got here, and, and then at the same time I add a, pellets as a, and, well, and, and when, depending on the day. Sometimes I can feed all the time with these, with these uh, sticky pellets, other times I have to dump feed with them and then fish it out. Uh, every day is different. I can't tell you when or, or why I do it, but I just have to sort of get, get a feel for it on the day and then change accordingly. So here we go, we'll ship it out and we'll see what happens. Here's another one. That didn't take long. So the float was barely cocked and that was gone. Um, this is basically how I've been catching them. Uh, start off f five to six metres out, um, keeping an eye on the inside line because I feed it quite early, looking for swells and any signs of fish down there. Tends, t I tend to find, obviously, that most of the day I'm fishing out um, and towards the end of the match, I'm starting to come in. I like to wait until there's quite a few fish swirling down the edge. Generally, if you go down and there's just one or two, it's very difficult to catch them. But this method on its day is unbeatable. 
Here's another one we've had on the place today, one of many. It's not been an easy day, but uh, I'll just pop him in the net and I'll explain to you. We had an instant response, to be honest, on this lake. Could put some uh, micro pellets in to start with, caught them straight away. Thought, this is it, keep going. Didn't happen. I had to keep changing my spots, move here, move there, just to keep in touch with them. Don't know why, but some days it's like that. They turn the bottom over, as you know, with all the bubbles and everything, and I think sometimes that puts them off. You start again on a fresh line, and that can be a, uh, the way to start keeping them coming throughout the whole of the session.